I was about seven years old, and we had a family get-together at my grandparents' house. And one of my uncles was an inventor for Bell Labs, an extremely successful inventor. Sweet dreams, little friends. And now for the Mandarin. First, I'm going to check my energy here. Oh. My cousins, they said, hey, let's break away from the adults and uh, we want to go take a look at something. So we went up into the attic. Being in that environment, something started to really resonate with me. I just thought this was the coolest thing. got up there, there was something covered by this blanket. My cousins took the blanket off, and I saw this incredible machine. It had all of these tubes, electronic controls, dials, and I was immediately fascinated. It was then that I knew that I want to be an inventor when I grow up. My name is David Schmidt. I am a husband, father, inventor, and the CEO and founder of LifeWave. From when I was young, I always had an interest in exploring the world and learning about how things work. We didn't have the distraction of cell phones and computers, so I spent a lot of time outside with my friends, exploring the natural world, looking at insects, going for walks in the woods, and trying to understand how all these things in nature function and enjoying the beauty of it. So we've asked science to tell us who we are. We have an answer, and many scientists are not comfortable with where that answer is leading. The origin of life problem is, I think most scientists today claim that that is the most difficult problem, and we still face it. Sometimes people talk about, well, we could create life in the lab, but in that case, it's usually an intelligent design explanation because you have the scientists with their intelligence, bringing together chemicals, not that they find in nature, but from a chemical supply company, and then putting them together in some very intentional way. Science is arriving at the place where our ancestors invited us to begin. And that is with the understanding that we are part of, rather than separate from, the world around us. Could it be that who or whatever is responsible for us left us a message. If this is true, where would we look for proof? God has left his fingerprint in nature and in natural design. And by studying nature with this perspective, we can unlock some secrets that have been hidden. The DNA is thought of as a reservoir or a repository of information, but actually it's much, much more than that.
there's a message encoded into the DNA of all life. What it says is that the elements that make us who we are are not random. And as we begin to embrace what that means, that we're part of everything that we see happening in the world, it gives new meaning to what it means to be human. Not only are we more than the product of random processes, but we are designed to interact with the world around us, as well as the world within us. In our DNA, there is actually a link to the ether where light is emitted. Light is information. We are constantly receiving information and transmitting information into the world around us, into the field around us. Light, as it turns out, is the primary control mechanism for everything else that happens in the body. If we can understand the language of the DNA, the code by which this all works, that means we can use light in an entirely different way to improve our health, our quality of life, and even change the way we age. What if we could have an external electromagnetic field that would essentially reset the stem cells that are already in our bodies and get them to function like younger, healthier cells? What if we could embed wavelengths of light into water that would trigger the regenerative mechanisms and cause people to heal at a rate as when they were younger? What if we actually found out that in a book that was written thousands of years ago, that information already existed? The first sentence of the book of Genesis is about in the beginning, how God created the heavens and the earth. So when God was creating the heavens and the earth, there was a mathematical blueprint and that blueprint shows up in nature. And it happens to show up in organisms that don't age. The mathematical codes are identical. The implications to this are absolutely extraordinary. There's a new philosophy that is emerging in the scientific community. And the philosophy simply says that consciousness informs itself through its creations. And I think it's no accident that it's only now, at this time in history, only now, that we find the message that reveals the deep truth of our existence question is, what is our potential? What are the limits of a human body? What drives me is that there's this enormous sense of hope that we can create technology to generate clean energy, that we can have foods that aren't genetically modified, and we can meet all of the needs on the planet that we have to, and that we can heal people and give them their lives back. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. There is more information there than most people would ever realize. 